Collage animation depends on the quality of assets you create outside of After Effects. The more detailed and well prepared they are, the better your animation will look. In this video, I'll show you how to create and animate your own assets step by step. You'll have the flexibility to explore endless creative ideas and adapt them to different industries and styles. So let's take a look on how to recreate this animation using our own asset. For this project, I used photos of my hands as references, which made things much easier than searching for them online. If you are familiar with the preparation process, you can skip ahead to the animation part in After Effects. Now start with selecting the objects and separating the background. Quick selection tool and mask can help us. Now apply these steps to the other layers. After that, let's make the layer black and white. Now hold Alt and drag the effects to other layers. Now let's convert the layer to smart object. Next, we need to separate hands as individual layers. For this, I use the lasso tool. After selecting, press Ctrl, Shift and J to separate the layers. Now apply the same steps to other layers. Now let's rename it for better understanding and recognizing them in After Effects. For the second asset, use Pen tool. Now hold Ctrl and click Enter. Ctrl, Shift and J to separate them. Also, let's apply the same steps for the buttons. Now choose the brush tool and draw it black. Now our asset is ready so we can move forward to After Effects. First, drag the paper texture to the composition. Scale it down and then add PST files as a composition to After Effects. Double clip the right hand composition. Bring the timeline indicator further. Select all layers. Press Ctrl, Shift and D to separate them. Now let's offset the layers. Select all of them and copy and paste. Adjust the timing of the last one since it will stay like this. Now let's check how it looks. Now double click to the composition, select the last 6 layers and delete them. Adjust the timing of the last pose since it will stay like this. Do the exact same steps for the second hand. Now let's check how it looks. Now we'll need to animate the position of our hand to create realistic typing effect. Press P for position properties and put a keyframe. Move the timeline indicator further and adjust the hand's position. But make sure you will not move hand to the right part. Now select all keyframes and choose toggle hold keyframe. It's a bit fast, so let's delete some keyframes. A 
adjust the keyframes and apply the same steps for the other hand. Now choose last two keyframes of our left hand. Press F9 to ease them and go to the graph editor. Adjust the curves similar to this one. Now select the last position of a hand. Press Y and fix the anchor point. Now press R for rotation properties and put a keyframe. Rotate the second keyframe to the right side and ease the keyframes. Adjust the graph editor and let's see how it looks. Now we need to make our hand to come back its initial position. For that press P for position properties and add a keyframe. Ease them as well and our animation is ready. Now let's move forward to our second asset. Select the handle layer and fix the anchor point. Now press Ctrl, Shift and D to separate the layers. Press R for rotation properties and add a keyframe. Adjust the second keyframe's rotation. Now press F9 to ease the keyframes and go to the graph editor. Create same curves as it was in our last hand position. Next create an old object. Now parent handle layers and roll a layer to our null object. Press P for position properties and put a keyframe. Move the timeline indicator further and adjust the position. Copy the first keyframe and paste it at the end for a loop. Now let's check how it looks. Now select the hand layer and adjust the rotation keyframe for better movement. Now let's move to the button layers. Select the space layer, press Y and adjust the anchor point. Next press S for scale properties and add a keyframe. Add second keyframe and adjust the scale to 90. Copy the first keyframe and put it at the end. Select all keyframes and choose toggle hold. Press Alt and drag them to adjust the timing. Now select all keyframes and paste them further. Now for the other buttons we'll do the same thing. Next let's create pressing impact effect. Press Ctrl D to duplicate the layer. 
search for a fill effect and add it to our layer. Select the black color and adjust the opacity. Now repeat this technique for other buttons. Select all keyframes except the background. Pre-compose them and let's see how it looks. So for the last chapter of this tutorial, I've added a few details and I will show you how to animate some of them. Select the brush layer and isolate it. Click on any empty area to deselect it. Then select pen tool and draw a stroke over it and make sure it overlaps it. Then add a trim path effect. Put two keyframes to the end property from 0 to 100. From Matte options, select Shape Layer 1. And the animation will apply to our brush. Next, let's animate this rectangle brush. Press R for rotation properties and put a keyframe. Adjust the second keyframe value to 90, third keyframe to 180. Now hold ALT and click the stopwatch icon. Add an expression loop out. Next let's add adjustment layer. From effects and presets search for curves. After adjusting the curves our animation is ready. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Make sure you subscribe and like the video. And lastly after adding some sound effects the animation will look like this.